guys, I'm not really that good at this, but I just want to thank you for watching my channel. This is very much a just spur of the moment thing I decided to do. We did a little shed hunting today, just looking around, seeing if there's anything easy that we can find. He's found one nice deer shed for me up here um, before and it was crazy. I was so proud of him. And he's also found a moose shed for me, but there's no moose in this area. One thing I wanted to talk with you guys about was YouTube and what, what my goals and my plans for it is. I just wanted to explain to you guys a little bit more about myself. I feel like you haven't really met me. You've seen a lot of videos of fishing with Keenan and just videos of me not even in the video itself in the beginning of this process. I didn't want to be in any videos whatsoever. I didn't want to talk to the camera at all. I feel dumb talking to a camera and I've actually gotten quite used to it. It's kind of normal to me. It's kind of like I'm just talking to myself out loud because I'm thinking all of these things and saying them to the camera. And then I'm going through and editing all the dumb stuff I say in between that you guys don't get to see. Excuse me. Yep, step on my stump. Okay, sit down. Sit, sit down and talk with mama. Okay, all right. I am extremely, extremely grateful for my boyfriend and for what he's kind of offered me as a life. At first I was scared half to death of it and then I just decided you only live one life so why not enjoy it. My dog is staring into the abyss right now and it's actually really cute. He's just over here looking at stuff. What do you see? What's going on? He doesn't know. So anyways, I was fresh out of high school and got started in the veterinary field. I worked as a vet tech for five years. I'm also a certified dog groomer. I was working 40 plus hours full time, you know, the whole nine yards, PTO, benefits, retirement plan, all that good stuff that is like the American dream. You know, you have a full time job, you get a wife and a or a husband and have a child and get married and have a home on the outskirts of town, you know, like the country music songs. That was kind of what I was following was that path of what everybody else is doing in the small town. I loved my job. I loved working in the veterinary field. I loved my coworkers so much. I loved the company I worked for. I was with them for three years. I worked at another veterinary clinic before that. But this past one that I worked at was my all-time favorite. I still bring my dog there. I still talk to everyone. They're still family to me. I was very, very upset when I left. Either or. I met my boyfriend seven years ago when we were in high school through a mutual friend. I met him. <laughs> not gonna get into that. We, you know, all went our separate ways in high school. He got out of high school and went to Alaska and worked on a boat. And I got out of high school and went to work. <laughs> I did some college. I did do certifications online with Penn Foster for my grooming, work in the everyday motions. And so we met back up seven years later. He sent me a message on Facebook. I ignored it for four months. I answered him and the rest is history. So a year into our relationship, he just brought it up that he wanted me to live with him. Our relationship was very different. He was two and a half hours away, ran a campground with his family and a guide business. So we didn't get to see each other a ton because he was always busy and I was down here and I worked on the weekends. And so it just got to the point where we were gonna like make a huge leap. I was scared half to death. And I was like, "What? whatever, like this could be great, this could be bad, it's part of life. I'm like, what's another adventure? So I did, I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I said, if I'm moving up there, then I need a full-time job because I still have bills and I still have to pay for stuff and I still need that income coming in. He kept bringing up to me to apply to the gate, Caribou Gate on the Golden Road and I was really against it at first. Didn't really know like what I would be getting myself into, starting a whole new job in a whole new area. There's a raven talking to my dog. Either or, I got kind of nervous about it, and so I applied for a position at Katahdin Air with Jim or Jim that flies float planes, and it's right off the Golden Road. There's legitimately a hawk flying right in front of me right now. 
That is a hawk. Please, what are you doing? It's like a spirit, spirit animal right now. Jim emailed me back. I emailed him and just kind of asked about it, sent him a resume and a cover letter because that's how I am. And he was like, come in for an interview. The interview was on like a Monday. In the meantime of asking for the interview with Jim, I sent a resume and cover letter, mailed it straight to Al Copperweight at North Main Woods and was just like, listen, I'm going to be moving up to Allegash Gateway Campgrounds and Cabins with my boyfriend and I'm looking for a job and just wondering if you know, there's anything out there you want me to do. I'm close to Caribou, I'm close to t loss, So it's up to you if you want, like I will do it as long as I'm getting paid. <laughs> I got a message from Peggy who works at Caribou Gate. She's our manager. I got it on like a Saturday night and I was supposed to be interviewed on Monday by Jim. That day on Sunday, we drove down into Millinocket, met at Peggy's house. She gave me like a whole packet for employment that I had to fill out, but I was basically already hired. Filled it out and mailed it in, and I had to email Jim and say, I'm sorry, but I got a job at the gate. Worked out really well because Jim didn't even end up opening the office that year because of COVID. He just had people call and schedule plane rides and flights, whatever it is. So that's how I got my job at Caribou Gate for the North Main Woods. I absolutely love it. It's so relaxing. I went from lifting heavy dogs every day, restraining dogs in the most screwed up ways that my body could bend and my body hurt. I started working in the veterinary field right out of high school. So I was like 18, 19. Between those years, I felt like I was 80. And so I had to start going to the chiropractor. I had to take care of my body. I don't want to be a 40 year old that can't go hiking. North Main Woods opened opportunities for me and made my body feel better. Basically at the gate, what I'm doing is checking people in to go do recreational activities, hunting, fishing, going to their camp, passing through, doing waterway trips. Everyone you see is happy, they're excited for their trip or they're half in the bag and assholes. You win some, you lose some. Other than that, most people are excited. They're not mad at you because they think you're killing their dog. So, positive note there. The gate schedule is a week on, a week off. So I work Wednesday to Wednesday. Wednesday that I get off of work, I go in at 7 a.m. and I'm there till like 10-ish. And we're basically just like doing our cash up basically for everything, cleaning up everything and just getting ready to change of guards is what we call it. When I get out at 10, I don't go back until the following Wednesday at 11. Is amazing, I mean it makes my life so much easier because I have time to do things and so I can work and I can play. That's so much freedom. We also, all the employees get free passes to go into the North Main Woods. Then I can go play. Like I brought my family up to the trains, um, which is a great place to visit. I've been there a couple times. So that brings me on to my living situation, which really is none of you guys' business, but I thought I'd share it with you because you are going to start seeing it here in the next couple months. When I first moved up, when I got done my job and started at the gate, Keenan and I lived in a cabin um, down the road from the campground, right on Repaginus Lake. It was gorgeous, but that came to an end and I had to buy a camper. I didn't have to, but I did. I wanted to stay up there. I wanted to be with my boyfriend and I wanted to continue working for the North Main Woods. So I bought a camper and we live in it and it's really not that bad. We're just living the camper life, which you guys will get a video on that when I move back in. We had plans to start building a home last year, but with COVID and everything kind of going on with the campground in Keenan's life, it just didn't happen. This year, it is like a main priority goal is to build our home. We have a lot of plans going on with that. It will be right at the campground. I'm not gonna share anything with you guys because if it doesn't happen, then why I tell you and if it does you're going to get videos of it okay so now let's talk about goals so I have some goals for 2022 I have personal goals and I have YouTube goals my main goal on YouTube is to just show you guys you know the lifestyle that I've been given my YouTube goals are obviously hit 1,000 subscribers and get my watch hours in so that I can be monetized. Another YouTube goal that I have is to give you guys stuff maybe you want to see. If I'm free from a Wednesday to a Wednesday and there's an adventure I can go on that will help you guys do the same adventure, then 
all for it. Let me know what you want to see. Plan to do some more fly fishing this year. Um, that's a personal goal. I got a fly rod last year and I used it a couple times and it's something I like to get into. Wet. My house is wet. Um, another YouTube goal that I have for this year is to up my game on equipment. Um, I'd really like to purchase the new GoPro. I just really don't want to do it right now. It's something that I know if my channel is growing and you guys are watching and enjoy what I'm putting out there, then I will go and purchase something like that to make my videos even better. For right now, I've been strictly using my phone, which is an iPhone 13. I also have an older camera because I do photography on the side. So my first starter camera was a Rebel T3, I think. And so I've used that, but it doesn't really do justice for me when I'm using my 60 Mark II Canon to shoot photo shoots. I do weddings, I do seniors, I do family, I do maternity, I, whatever you want, I do it. So shooting with that, which is a much more expensive camera and then trying to use a cheaper camera for videos, it just doesn't sit well in my creative skills mind. My iPhone does great and does a lot better to me when I'm editing stuff than the Canon Rebel. Um, so I've kind of stepped away from using that, but I hate just having to use my phone for everything because it just, I don't delete the videos and everything gets all bogged up and it becomes a mess. So yeah, looking into the GoPro, getting more batteries and SD cards and everything like that. So I'm prepared and ready for when I do film stuff. Another personal goal that I have is obviously getting our house done but with everything going on right now in the world I'd like to move more into the homesteading lifestyle I want to get my garden going we gardened quite a bit last year um, we canned carrots and I blanched some green beans and I would go up and pick spinach here and there just for dinners it's really hard to keep spinach but I'd like to do more canning this year I'd like the garden to be bigger and I'd like to can more stuff especially cucumbers I really like cucumbers or like pickle do pickles that'd be great to have a pantry for canned goods that I grew and canned myself another big personal goal is more meat in the freezer I would really 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 like to trap a bear this year and shoot one over bait because you can get two bears in Maine bear meat's my absolute favorite it's Kenan and I's absolute favorite so if we could have more bear meat the the happier we'd be we both have freezers that we could put it in another thing i want to let you guys know about is like where i'm at right now this winter i am living with my parents this is kind of like a long cookie story that you probably don't care about and it just kind of explains a little bit my parents sold our how well their house they up and sold it in like four days they bought property in norwich walk on the river and they wanted to build their kind of forever retirement home and so the market was great they put the house up on the market and it was gone in four days so in november while i was trying to hunt and trying to get done work and having to come down here i had to move all my stuff out of it so i had to get a storage unit i had to move my stuff into a storage unit it was great it was grand so obviously the house isn't built yet they brought bought the property they started getting stuff rolling for the house we had to move into a tiny crappy trailer in town norwich walk the videos that you've been seeing of me cooking or random like stories and it looks like i'm in a trailer that's about to fall apart yeah that's that's where we are and so it's very very temporary and i moved back up in april yeah probably in the middle of april when this, all the snow melts which is doing pretty good right now and so it's very temporary for me not so much for my parents until their house gets built and hopefully may ignore the home <laughs> ignore where we are because we're not happy in it and it's making us all kind of not miserable but just ready for the snow to melt ready to get winter over with ready to move on we kind of all feel like we've been put on hold and i don't like when my life gets put on hold need to keep moving and doing stuff i've been very stuck in that trailer the last couple days right now my source of income i guess is grooming i groom dogs on the weekends in norwich walk which is going great i am busy every weekend 
it's allowing me to have the freedom that I have, which puts me back into like the work aspect of things. My life went from Monday through Saturday or like Tuesday through Saturday, nine to five. It, not even nine to five, it was eight or seven to 5.30. I was working that week long schedule and trying to find time to do things, trying to have time off so I could go do stuff that I'm doing now. And so this life has given me so much freedom. I went through like a spell where I just didn't even know what to do because I had so much free time. People are like working Monday through Friday. All they think about when they're at work is like, what else could I be doing right now? And I did that. I was like, what? I was like, I could be out walking my dog right now. I could be shed hunting. I could be hunting. I could be fishing. I could be trapping. I could be doing something. And then I found myself given that freedom and I was lazy as shit. And so I'm like, I need to like, I need to do something. I just got put in like a weird position because I had all this free time. So I've been trying to do a routine every day. I've started journaling. So I have a journal I got where I just kind of write down different stories of stuff that I've done or that Kian and I have done. So I just got done writing about our Aliash trip and just like different things that I can't show you in the video. The feelings that I felt and how beautiful it was, the way the sun rose, all that good nitty gritty stuff you read in a book. That's something else I want to let you guys know is that if you are given freedom, go do something. People work every day, clock in, clock out, nine to five, and nobody enjoys it. I mean, some people may if they have a great job, but like if you're given the freedom to just have the weekdays off and make your own schedule from November to May, early May, I make my own schedule. If I plan a trip, like we just went up and fished with my aunt and uncle at the campground, stayed in a cabin, and I just didn't schedule any groomings. So I made my own schedule. I had like a week and a half off. I choose how I make my own money. So if I want to overbook myself, I overbook myself. If I want to schedule a few photo shoots in the same weekend as grooming, then I'm running around crazy, but that's like the hustle of it. So that's like a huge responsibility that I've taken. I stopped kind of like backing away from scheduling people and I was like, come on down, let me groom your dog. And so it's going, it's going great. I have another personal plan for 2022, which I am already started a video on for you guys to have. And it will be like drawn out over a couple months, but it's something that I just need and that I've wanted and I will cry the day it happens. That's something I'm super excited about. It's like my top personal goal this year. Hopefully it's happening. I mean, it's already in the process, so I'm sure there's going to be a few bumps here and there. Some other things I'm working on personally is just like bills. I went through a spell when I got out of high school where I just had dumb debt. Like I was using credit cards, which was dumb. And I've since paid that off. Other debt from there is just normal stuff. I know you don't care about that. That's my personal finances. You don't need to know about that stuff, but it's goals. Everyone has goals to pay off their debt. Um, mine are just going a lot better than they were like three or four or five years ago. I've since like blossomed and got myself out of that just by budgeting. I have, I use Google spreadsheets for my budget. So anyways, I hope you guys kind of enjoy this, enjoy getting to know a little bit about me. This is Maverick. I got him as a seven, seven week old puppy. <laughs> He's been through everything with me. He's the best boy in the world. Yes, he is. He can't do much in the winter. I've kind of retired him from the winter because he had knee surgery. Um, and I don't like it when he aches for days after. Can you not? And a lot of you reached out to me when we went to Allagash Lake. We very much enjoyed the trip a ton and it made a lot of people ask questions or answered questions for them. If there's trips I do take and they help you out, like let me know. If you're like, I planned on doing this trip and I watched your video and it like helped me pack or plan or see what to do or how to get there or stuff like that then let me know and i think i'm gonna do another trains trip I feel like if i did a video kind of like on the drive up and the walk in and seeing the trains and everything like that then it would motivate more people to go check them out it's a really cool eerie historic place to visit especially if you're interested in the history of the north main woods the loggers like all the men that brought the logs down the river and then loaded them up on the trains it's really neat 
lots and lots of goals to come. I'm hoping to share them all with you guys this year and I'm hoping to do a couple more vlogs like this. Um, if you like the vlogs, please give a thumbs up down there. If you wouldn't mind, I would love a subscribe. It doesn't take much to subscribe to a channel and I'm not trying to be like, click the button but like all you have to do is click the button if you already have like your email connected to youtube all you have to do is click that button i don't know all you do is click that button and it helps me out tremendously well part of me in the beginning was like i feel dumb doing this i feel like other people are gonna be like really emily like you're starting a youtube channel that's dumb oh wow she looks dumb talking to a camera and i'm just at the point now where i don't care what you think if you think I look dumb for doing this, or if you think making videos of m my fun adventures that I do is dumb, then go somewhere else, because I don't have time for you. I have gotten over that. Like, if I can do this, and this can be an accomplishment for me, then high five to me. Job, way to go. And if you guys aren't supportive of that, then whatever. I read a quote today that somebody shared on their Instagram story, and I say it all the time. Keep things private because people love to ruin things for you. I like strongly agree with that. If you have goals that you want to achieve and you feel like if you share them with people, they're going to be like, oh, well, you can't do that or don't do that. That's dumb or I don't know. Some people just hate other people's success. And so we should want everyone to be successful. That helps the world is for everyone's success. And so if somebody's doing something, I keep an eye on it. I think that's great. That's motivation for me. Way to go, congratulations. That's a big thing that's set with me is some stuff I'm not gonna share with you guys. My number one goal for 2022, I have, I've really only shared it with my parents and obviously my boyfriend because I just don't want to share it and be excited about it. And then people ask me about it and then it not happen. And so that's another big piece with our home. I don't want to really describe what we're doing to you because it may not happen. Like something may happen and it just doesn't happen. I'm gonna find the actual quote that I read. I'm gonna screenshot it and I'm gonna put it up right here because it set well with me. And I think that's something that should set well with you guys as well. Um, like hustle, have goals, achieve them, but you don't have to share them with everyone. Yes, I've started a YouTube channel. Yes, I have Instagram. I have a Facebook. My Facebook is more for like family. Um, and I run my photography and my grooming uh, pages off of that. So that's private. I keep everything kind of private. If you guys friend requested me on it, I probably wouldn't accept it. My Instagram, go over, follow. Um, it's m under slash under slash outdoors. Um, that's where you're gonna see stuff that I'm doing probably before the video's out or it's where I'm gonna post and say, hey guys, there's a new video, go check it out. But getting to the point I'm getting to is that I'm not always gonna share it when I ate during the day or when I drove somewhere or when I took my dog for a walk. If you don't mind, subscribe. If you hit the notification button, then uh, you'll, it'll pop up and show you when my videos upload or post so you can watch them. Give me a like if you like this. If you have any comments whatsoever, comment down below. If you have a personal comment that you want to ask and you don't want other people to see it, then go on my Instagram and DM my Instagram and I usually answer. If somebody asks me something about getting somewhere or the woods or like how I'm doing something to live the life that I live, I will answer that. Another thing that I've actually started was affiliate marketing. And so if I buy something off of um, like Amazon, everybody shops on Amazon. If I buy something off of Amazon and I love it and I think you guys should love it too, I will post a link down in my description. And so if you guys click on that link and buy it, then I will get a commission from it. If you click on that link and you don't wanna buy it, but instead of clicking out, um, and going to like your Amazon app, if you like search for something within that link that you clicked on and you buy that, um, I will still get a commission from you clicking on my link and then buying something on Amazon. That's something that would help out a ton. I felt dumb for starting this and how I was like kind of against it at first and was like, I wanna share this stuff to help people out with stuff. Like canning meat was the first video I posted. I love canned game meat. And so I'm like, I want to share this because so many people have asked me about it, but I don't want to be that person that's like, go like my YouTube channel, go subscribe to my YouTube channel or my YouTube channel this, which I have become, I'll admit it, I have become that. 
because it's something that I feel really, really passionate about right now. And so if I can grow this and make it something, then kudos to me. You guys would help an absolute ton on my journey and my success with this if you just hit that subscribe button down there. So I'm gonna conclude this video by saying thank you for watching and Mav and I are gonna go keep looking around for some sheds. If we find one, you will find out. But for now, we're out.